I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'm I'm Aliyah Harriet with the Varsity Sports Show And today I'm joined by super dynamic quarterback at Saguaro High School, Devin Dampier Devin, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for joining the show. Thank you for having me, for real. Okay, so, you know, obviously you've had great success, success at high school, the high school level, but, you know, I just want to go back a little bit to how you started playing football. So when did that interest of football start for you? Yeah, um, I started off uh, when I was four. Uh, my mom used to have me throwing baseballs all the time, and she was like, you're, you're just a little bit too physical to only <laughs> throw it only throwing a ball so she decided to uh, have me play uh, football so I started playing since I've been uh, four and a half and it's just gone up from there. That's really cool you know um, this is your senior season obviously and just you've had such great success and last year winning the open division championship and last week you guys played chaparral at senior night so what was that moment like for you going out on the field for the last time with your family by your side? Yeah, uh, to have them all with me, I mean, on that field for that last time, it's uh, it's a little emotional. Uh, it hit me at the moment, but just thinking about it, you know, it's it's crazy that I'm really, like, I'm done with high school kind of thing. So it's crazy it's coming to an end. Um, and then, you know, what were some of your goals coming into the season after having such a successful season last year? Yeah, uh, I mean, last year, uh, yeah, obviously we won, so – this year, uh, it's always hold it down. I mean, after you get it, you got you got to stay up there. So that's obviously always a goal. But just going into my senior year, I kind of wanted a motive to kind of inspire other people and just be able to, like, make people better around me instead of just kind of focusing on myself. I wanted others to feel like they could do whatever they can. And speaking of that, making others better around you, I've talked about, you know, this opening, how you're such a dynamic quarterback. And let's just look at these numbers real quick. Over 1,400 passing yards, 800 rushing yards. How has that helped your game progress over these couple of years? Yeah, um, yeah, I've always wanted to be dynamic. Uh, nothing against pocket passers or anything, but I just, I feel, I feel like I, I can bring so much more to the game just being able to be crafty and stuff. And I feel like it's really hard for defenses to have to not only play coverage, but have to maintain the quarterback the way I play. So I just try to make it the hardest I can for any defense. Yeah, and, you know, you talk about how good the offense has been this year and just all the weapons that you guys have around you. And what would you describe – how would you describe, you know, your team at this point in the season? Yeah, uh, I would say since the beginning, you could really tell our team's grown. Uh, that's really good. That's playing. So I bet – that first game was kind of their first time into a game. So, and then you just see gradually going up, less mistakes are happening. More people are happy for each other. So we're moving in a good direction right now. And, you know, many people maybe don't know, maybe they do, but you played track as well. Um, so how did that, you know, help you with your football game? Yeah, uh, to be honest, so doing, uh, doing javelin, uh, it's like it's it's a different way of throwing, but it's somewhat like football. But like the way I throw the javelin, I was able to throw it pretty far. So I kind of use that technique where I throw like really far balls, and I've realized I can throw the ball like ten yards farther. It's so weird, but <laughs> I'm happy I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, do you think that you know maybe that's like really helped you this year? Yeah, uh, I feel like getting in any sport. Uh, I did basketball right before track and. And when I did track, I did multiple events. Uh, my coaches didn't let me just to one. So, <laughs> I think like, yeah, it just – it helps overall. Uh, and then I want to transition a little bit into, you know, you've committed to the University of New Mexico. Um, congratulations, first of all. And, hey, hey. and you know, what was that what – what stood out to you um, that made you commit to the University of New Mexico? Yeah, uh, it's mainly just the love, really. Uh, they were the first school to reach out to me as soon as the state championship was over. I think they watched my film one time, and then the coach was just ready. He's like, 
we got full belief in you. And he's kept his word the whole entire way until now. So that's a long time to be recruiting one person and continuously showing love. So that's, that's my main reason why I went out there. That's great. Um, do you know what you want to study or like what you want to go towards? Yeah, I've been thinking between something in uh, business or engineering. A lot of people have been saying engineering a lot, so <laughs> I'm thinking about it, but I, I might end up still giving it a shot. I don't know yet. I think you should give it a shot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I just don't want to get set up. <laughs> I'm not going to get set up, man. <laughs> um, so that was kind of just like that first part of the interview. So I just want to, you know, get to know Devin off the field a little bit. So yeah. when you're not all, when you're not on the football field, what do you like to do? Uh, to be honest, I like like this year especially. I would say I've been around my family literally any any time I've had just being around my mom and dad really just because it's gonna really be my last time I'm living with them. So I just really been cherishing the moments, just chilling downstairs with them, playing car games. We we <laughs> play like game night every every other night and stuff so it's just it's been a real loving kind of move this last uh year uh what's your favorite sports team doesn't have to be football <sighs> oh ah uh. see look i i want to i want to say the cardinals but <laughs> you know i i don't feel good with that answer right now so we're gonna go with my uh my basketball team uh i've been rocking with john moran really mm. he's a uh, Hooper, so oh yeah, I wouldn't say my Grizzlies is the favorite team, but John Moran is my favorite player, so okay. I guess I'm. Yeah. That was my that was my next question. Your favorite athlete, so I guess it would be John Morant. Well, okay, favorite <laughs> athlete. Ooh. Have any sport? It's, ooh, that's a hard one. I'm gonna have to go between Kobe mm -hmm. or Aaron Rodgers. Or Aaron Rodgers. Kobe or Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I, I like the way they carry themselves. Cool, I like that. Um, are do you like? Are you into shoes? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Love, love. <laughs> What's your shoe choice when you're off the field? It used to be Jordans, but I'm 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 moving into like I don't know if they're like fashionable shoes, but like I've been rocking a lot of like uh, McQueens and Balenciagas and stuff. I okay. got I got it. I'm trying to get some Rick Owens. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've got um, into the fashion wear. Yeah, that's like really high wear. Yeah, I see it. I like that. Um, what you said, Jordans used to be your favorite. What Jordan? Fours. 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 Oh, Fours. Yeah. yeah, Fours over anything. <laughs> Which I haven't. I haven't fell in love with the ones yet. A lot of people have ones right now. Yeah. I haven't fell in love with them yet. Uh, which four? Mm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my concretes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I have the um, what those? Oh yeah. Yeah, I like those. They're comfy. Any Jordan's really comfy to me. Yeah, yeah. The Jordans, Jordans are good shit. Everybody says they're like heavy and stuff. I'm like, yeah, oh. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do something wrong. Yeah. Um, do you like to listen to music? If so, what's your favorite um artist that you like to listen to? Um. Hmm. Yeah, well, well, I love music. I, I I listen to all genres. I've been I've been jumping in between rap, uh, R old R and B, like uh, I was just listening to country music coming here. Like <laughs> I I just switch it up. But I would say my go to is probably probably Young Boy. He's a he's a little he yeah he knows how to do a little bit of everything. So mm -hmm. he he can get in all my. Do you listen to Young Boy in your pregame, or do you listen to someone else? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the turns up. Yeah, I, li I listen to turns up, young boy, before games. It gets my head knocking. Just, <laughs> I'd be ready. I'd be ready. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. This is, might be a controversial one, but do you like pineapple on pizza? No, there's no. I, <laughs> if people have pineapple on their pizza, y'all need help. I need to put that out there. Man. <laughs> Those two did not go together. Not at all. <laughs> okay. Last question for you today, Devin. Um. What's kind of like your pregame routine? Uh, well, my number one is I, I can't eat that much. So lunch is my final meal of the day. Can't eat nothing else. Uh, salad, salad, I did not drink water on game day. I drink <laughs> only Gatorade. <laughs> um, and then it's really, uh, I got, I get like this weird thing where like I get tired. I get like really tired right before the game. I'm talking about like five minutes before the game. I start yawning and stuff. I just really relax my body. 
And then as soon as I run out the tunnel or something, it's just, I just, I don't know. It's something that goes into me and I'm ready. All right, that's really cool. And Devin, thank you so much uh, for joining me today and taking that little time out of your day right before practice as you guys prepare this week. Um, you know, so just thank you so much for joining the show again. Devin Dampier from Saguaro, super dynamic quarterback. Guys got to look out for him in the future. Thank you so much, Devin. And I'm Eli yeah. with the Varsity Sports Show. Always. Thank you.